today we're, go we're going to show you how to make barley grass for your chickens. And what do the chickens do with it? They eat it. So this is the barley that we've been sprouting for our chickens. It still has the hull on it. It's the whole, um, the whole shebang here. Um, we actually got it from a relative who had bought it to eat, but after days and days of boiling and instapotting, she just wasn't able to get the hulls soft enough that they could eat them. So she called me or messaged me and said, hey, do you want these for your chickens? And I said, sure, let's play with them. So this is the barley that we sprouted into our barley grass, or whatever they call it, um, for our chickens. So here we have the barley, and we have been soaking it in this jar overnight um, for about, it's been about 24 hours. And you can sort of see the little ends there where it's starting to grow. So that's what we want to see. And what we're going to do now is spread it in the tray and set it out and grow some of our barley grass. after about four days and you can see how tall this already is just four days of sprouting um, this barley that we have and if I lift it up you can see the roots whoa so here's one thing we figured out pretty quickly um, when we started sprouting we had these really nice berry containers that I thought hey they've got holes they will drain really well. This will be great. We'll use these. We have a lid. We can put the lid on. Sometimes when you um, grow things, you start with a lid on. Um, I thought, hey, let's use this. This will be great. Now, it is great, except for the fact that when the roots grow, they grow right out of the holes. So in order to get the sprouts out of the container, you have to cut down every single section to release them. Um, so when you do, you get the sprouts out, and then you end up with this very funky looking um, piece that's left over, which is great if you only want to do it once, but we really like the idea of doing it over again. So next, next time around, we're going to be using um, a much more solid tray. This is a mushroom tray. Um, and hopefully we'll just be able to pop it right out instead of having to um, cut them out like we were doing before. So just a little tip for those who are doing trial by error, which is kind of what we're doing. <laughs> Avoid the fruit trays and go for something a little bit flatter. So we've cut the um, package away from the barley roots and this is what we have. We have the root system which is not looking moldy, looks good. And it's got the barley growing on top and then what we're going to do is we're going to break it apart. Um, or maybe we won't break it apart. Last time we broke it apart. This is really thick. In fact, um, I think next time we'll just use a little bit less barley because this root bed, I think is what they call it, a root bed or a root mat, is really thick. It's just like one solid brick. So um, I think what we're going to do is use less barley, uh, less seed next time. Um, but we're going to get this ready and we're going to go give it to our girls. Mom slicing the barley path. She's slicing. It's like grass pie. <laughs> one, two, three, four. How many chickens do we have? Five. It's like it's like um barley grass. It's like barley pie. <laughs> pump, it smells like pump, 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 pump. What does it smell like? It smells like sugar peas to me. It does smell like sugar peas, doesn't it? Yeah. We're gonna cut it into these little pieces, and then we're gonna give it as snacks to the chickens. See what they think. Ah! No! 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 For you, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.